Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com and ResetCharters.com. So I was recently looking into options to basically fish off my skis. And throughout the years I've had lots of random ideas and different options and that kind of thing. And uh, I decided that, well, recently after seeing what's on the market, and there's some really good offerings on the, on the market for sure. Really, really good stuff. And I definitely have seen what's out there in person. And I, I, who am I to knock any of it? My only issue is this stuff gets expensive. And um, I wonder if I'm, uh, there we go. This stuff gets expensive. And the problem with, with that really is I didn't feel like I had to spend that kind of money, which, you know, the, there's a unit called the fish ski. You should check it out. Uh, they're, they're, the retail price is a thousand bucks. Um, I don't know if you'd call him a buddy yet, but my, uh, the guy that I recently met, Nate Ferguson, he, uh, he owns fish ski USA. I, I definitely urge it, urge you guys to check him out and what he's got to offer. The units are pretty awesome. And I was actually going to purchase one until I decided that it was a lot of money for something that I just felt like I could produce on my own for a very reasonable price compared to that. And so what I have done is just that. I created a rack system where not only can I carry two and a half gallons of fuel or more if I want. In fact, after the uh, testing today, um, I'm pretty confident I could make this same rack hold a five gallon can because uh, the way that I have it set up is pretty awesome and it works very well. Uh, we've been riding around all day. I'm at Dunedin Causeway uh, here in Dunedin, Florida. And uh, I'm on my Yamahas today. I've got uh, two 2018 Yamaha VXHO cruisers. And you can see here what I've built over the past week. Um, I mean, it looks pretty awesome, right? So I've got PVC pipe. I've got a 54 quart igloo cooler. Yes, you could go with a roto molded, molded cooler. I did this for a couple reasons. I wanted it smaller, uh, more compact. I'm not a professional fisherman. I am getting better at it. I am I intend on um, doing far more with fishing than I currently do. But this is what I came up with and it, it's very functional, works very well. So this uh, little contraption off the back um, holds this two and a half gallon gas container, the no spill job very well. Um, the 54 quart uh, Igloo Marine Ultra Cooler, that also works very well. Uh, we've been out here for about, I don't know, four hours and it's still got ice. I don't expect for this to keep ice for more than, you know, five, six hours. That's how long I go fishing. That's all I care about. It does not need to be a fancy roto molded cooler. In fact, most of them that I've tried don't do what they claim anyway. So I've got all stainless steel high hardware on this job. Four tie down points. It has seven rod holders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I also bought these uh, tackle webs deals. This holds a Plano 3600 tackle box, one on each side, very well. Um, I went ahead, I, I, so because this is a prototype, I wanted to be able to pull it apart and modify it if I wanted to. If I had glued everything together, like you generally would do with PVC, I wouldn't be able to pull the fittings apart, cut the uh, pipe and, and you know change things around if I need to. It's looking like I don't need to. Uh, so that's good. Um, as far as that goes, every joint has one three quarter inch stainless steel screw in it. So all stainless steel, nothing else was used on this. Um, this is just a, a Velcro on deal, but I went ahead and put uh, seven screws in each one to hold those on. So I've got tackle storage, I've got rod storage, I've got gas storage, I've got a nice cooler, and I have a full, well, I should say an open trunk. 
uh, that I could put gear in or whatever. Um, the way that I built this, I could actually extend it on the sides here for more room. We're planning on taking a trip to Bimini uh, this spring or whenever the weather is better for it. We've got to check with the guides on that. But um, it has legs underneath. I put some uh, pool noodles here just to make sure it didn't the PVC didn't scratch up the paint. Uh, but that's it. I mean, that's it, guys. Nothing fancy, but very functional. Very functional. Very happy with the way it turned out. And it is stable as all get out. I mean, it is just super stable. And the more I think about it, the more options I think can be had. I mean, I could extend this thing all the way over the side with gear storage or with a live well or whatever. The options are endless. Um, I could weld all this stuff together. I've got all the equipment to weld, but I just see so much value in the PVC situation. So I don't know. I might be build these on the side. I really enjoyed it. And this one's incredibly functional. So, um, this might just be the very start to something amazing. Uh, sea -Doo just released their fish pro ski with their, uh, cooler on the back with the rod holders and that kind of thing. Um, I did order that for my GTX 300 Limited. It'll it'll fit right in the link system. Uh, so with that ski, that's more of the me and the girlfriend going out and having fun kind of ski. These are uh, part of my company actually, uh, Reset Charters. We do uh, adventure tours in Tampa Bay and the surrounding areas. Uh, we're actually going to be evolving into potentially doing uh, big events where we're pulling, you know, six to eight skis anywhere you want to go and doing uh, legit adventures with them. So anyway, that's where we're at. I appreciate you guys listening to me babble about it. I'm pretty proud of it. And there's so, after feeling how this thing does, and it doesn't change the way the, the actual ski rides. I love it. Um, there's so much more potential, like I said, extending the sides. You could even do a bigger cooler. In fact, when I started building it, it was for a uh, 72 quart rotor molded cooler, which I just felt was too big, especially for what I'm doing. This thing is perfect. If you guys want to talk to me about building one of those for you, just uh, reach out or send me a message. Put a message in the comment section. Let's talk about that. Um, I'm seriously thinking about going into just a little side project with this. So anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you listening to me babble. That has been my custom made fishing cooler rack. If you guys got questions, let me know. I will be uh, itemizing every single part that I used. I will be putting up a list of every single cut that I made, links, and all of that stuff. So stay tuned for all that. Thanks again, guys. Have a wonderful day.